Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss step six, the sub E video. I will introduce how can we implement the OPC UE client function in MATLAB, and this OPC UE client function will allow the MATLAB symlink to connect the PLC exchange the data through the OPC UE. As we discussed from the previous videos, we already set up the control loops inside this uh, MATLAB symlink. Also, in the previous video, I introduced how we enable the OPC UE server function inside the Siemens i7-1200 PLC. So in this video, we will set up the OPC client function in the MATLAB. And after this, all this uh, simulated control loop will set up so the PID controller in the PLC can exchange the data into this uh, MATLAB simulink and this process model running inside the MATLAB Simulink will be controlled by this uh, PID controller in the PLC. To enable the OPC UA client function in MATLAB, we can download one sample program or template program from Siemens support website. So we can go to the support.siemens.com and search this ID. So we need to find out this uh, user case tool. That user case tool provides one simple program, allows this uh, MATLAB symlink to communicate via the OPC UE function. So let's download this uh, user case tool project. This is a TI Portal version 14 project. And after you download that folder, unzip this folder. Under this uh, symlink user case tool, there's one M file that is named read underscore opc underscore function. We can paste into your directory and we will use this read opc underscore function. Okay, so let's go back to the MATLAB side. Find out the directory from the MATLAB and open this read underscore opc underscore function. So this is one sample program. According to our case, the OPC UE server address that is a 192.168.1.200. So I will change this number here. And before we run this .m, we can run the command here. Basically, we can verify and figure out how this program works. From here, we can copy this line. Paste here. Type in enter. So we will check out so we will check out currently our connection is disconnected and then we need to type in this command connect this connection and after this let's type in this ua client see the actual status now it shows this ua client that is connected which is good that means this opc ua client from the matlab already connect to our opc ua server that's the PLC. All right, let's follow this command. So let's read this code. From this sample code, it is using the find node by name. Firstly, this line will find this node name at first. Then inside this node name, it will browse the tag name it actually want to find. So this is the typical way using this find node by name, we can search the OPC UA tag. Since from the PLC side, under the OPC tag directory, there's no name in named OPC interface. That's why when we execute this command, it will show empty the node object. To browse this OPC tag name as well as the OPC directory, we can use this command. Browse namespace. So it will pop up one dialog screen and we can use this uh, window to browse the actual tag name from the OPC server side. And comparing with this uh, unified automation expert OPC client software in the previous video, we use this uh, tool to browse the uh, OPC UA server tags in the previous video. So from this namespace browser, so we can find if we can find the same tags from this OPC UA server. So under this window, let's browse. So let's expand this directory. We will find the same tag hierarchy. And we will find 
there are two tags here. So using this uh, browse namespace, we can find the same tags from this uh, OPC UA server. That means this uh, browse namespace, this function works in the OPC client in the MATLAB side. So we could use this uh, browse name this way. But using the name browser, as we know, sometimes the name could have uh, the capital or underscore or some other space number. That's why I would like to use the second method that is uh, using the OPC node ID to browse the tag rather than the name. If you recall from this uh, unified automation UA expert, so for each OPC UA tag, we have a node ID here that is NS. For i2, and for this PV, that is i3. So, this node ID is very reliable. We can type in the command from this MATLAB. I type in the CLC to clean this command area, and let's test that command here. For example, I will type in the var underscore node in equal to opc. UA node. So we will type in var underscore node underscore in. Use this OPC UA node. Use this command. And that namespace, and this namespace that is equal to 4. Okay. Here. That name's value that is a 4. And next, index number that is a 2. And this namespace value that is a four, and the index number that is a two, and the next value that index number is a three. So for the first value, the namespace that is a number four, and the index number that is a two. And uh, I will use this uh, UA client. Hit enter. Let's see what the value of that. So it browses tag. And then let's copy this command. Let's see how it works. So let's see this value, what the actual value it is. OK, so it browses this value that is a 15. So to verify this value, we will see this PID control signal that is a for index 2. So this actual value is a 15. So that means this command is working. So that's my personal way. You can also use this namespace, but sometimes this find node by name cannot work properly. That's why personally, I will prefer to use this node because the node ID, as I found, using this node ID is very reliable. Okay, so I will comments this existing code and I will use my code. So from this client we will see this PID control signal that is a number four namespace and index number two. And this process feedback so I will click this feedback. So that is namespace that is a four and index number that is a three. So right here. And then let's quickly go through how this OPC UA client works. So the input value of this read OPC underscore function, the value will receive the into this Y. This Y value will be used for here, write value, because this Y, that is a process feedback value, come from the MATLAB symlink. With this write value function, this variable y will be right into this uh, variable underscore node out, this tag. And using this line command, so this uh, variable node out will write into this node ID, OPC tag. That is a process feedback. The PID control signal that will read from the PID output and then through the OPC UA communication, go to this var underscore node underscore in. And using this read value, and this PID control signal will go to the VAR. And then this VAR will transfer to this X. This X will be used as a final output for this OPC UA client function.
and then this X will be used as a PID control signal used inside the MATLAB Simulink control loop. Okay, I will rename this uh, test value here. So let's see, this, this name can be used as a PID control signal, PID control signal. Replace this and replace this. Okay. And keep in mind, I'm using this uh, OPC UA node. This function received the data from the PLC i7-1200. And from here, keep in mind, this function name, that is a read underscore OPC underscore function. So we better copy this name and paste into the MATLAB Simulink. And let's shift back to the MATLAB Simulink. Double click. And from here, let's open this uh, block. Let's paste that uh, function name into this uh, MATLAB function. Paste. Make sure this name is the same name as this uh, function. Okay. Output dimension, that is a uh, one dimension because that is a uh, one input, one output function. Also, we need to uncheck this. So this function, that is a one input, one output function. Okay, let's hit this OK. So till here, we basically finish everything setting inside this MATLAB Simulink. And to allow this whole loop run continuously, we need to type in the INF at here. To allow this system to run infinitely. All right, after set this infinite, let's run this MATLAB Simulink. And to verify this value, we can double click, open this scope. So you can click this button automatically, arrange this Y axis. Also, we can go to the wheel, activate this legend. So it will tell us what does mean of this color curve. For this yellow curve, that come from our PID control. And for this blue one, that come from our process value. So because this line come from this ad, so a named ad, we can go offline and change the name here. Okay, to verify this value, we can also use this uh, OPC UA client. So let's see, currently this control signal, that's the 15, that is the yellow curve, and the feedback signal, that's the 45. So we can see this curve around 45. So that means the OPC UA connection between the MATLAB, Simulink, and the PLC, we are successful. And let's leave this uh, MATLAB Simulink running. And let's go back to the PLC. And from here, from this uh, watch table, so this control signal is a uh, 15, and the feedback that is a uh, 45. So that means this OPC UA connection between the PLC and the MATLAB Simulink, it is uh, successfully built up. Also, it means this loop signal now in the MATLAB Simulink that is working. Because as we can see, from the PID control signal, we give a 15. And then the process model, a feedback that is a 45.8. So this whole loop is working now. All right, that is this video. We set up the OPC UA client function inside the MATLAB. And using the MATLAB Simulink calls this sub-program to allow this MATLAB to communicate with the OPC UA server, that is a PLC. So all this uh, MATLAB Simulink is working. In next video, I will connect this uh, MATLAB output and the process feedback to the PID controller, that is a PID compact inside the PLC, and using the PID control this uh, simulated process. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, Please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.